Good evening, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. 12 box. Pick your team number three. It's a full hobby case right here. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action. Thank you. And thanks for watching on a Friday night. Chris with that last spot mojo, Utah Jazz. There it is right here. The hobby edition. Good luck. All right, so we've got six right there, six right there, 12 boxes, RJ Barrett on the front, one autograph, and a bunch of inserts and parallels per box on average. Only, uh, I think only veteran commons won't ship in this. Everything else, of course, will. No hot boxes in this optic basketball. Good luck, everybody. We watched the uh, Rising Stars game, the world versus the U.S. I was on the U.S., and I had some MVP picks that didn't work out. I was definitely on the U.S., though. I put, put some pizza money on the U.S., put lotto scratcher money on Shea Gilgis Alexander, Jaron Jackson Jr., Devontae Graham, Nikhil Alexander Walker as sort of long shots that I thought might win, mostly for value plays, but... Ended up being Miles Bridges, who had an excellent third quarter and really, really turned things around for the for the U.S. I want to say, and led them to a victory, and a nice win. I think it was Gilo or someone was saying earlier. Man, look at those rosters for both the Rising Stars team, for both teams, the World team and the U.S. team. I mean, if even only half of those guys work out. You know, to be consistent starters. I mean, I'm talking bare minimum consistent starters in the league. I mean, that's a good sign for the future of basketball. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So just in the interest of time, we'll probably speed through some of these unless we get some nice cards like this. That's a John Moran, all cleared for takeoff, insert, and numbered, going to Frank and the Grizz. 40 out of 99. What does this go for on a secondary market? I'm going to keep track for Frank. There's Boyan Bogdanovich to 199. I'm just going to set these aside right here. We'll save those up a little bit later. No worries, Frank N. Good Tyler Hero. We got Dennis Smith Jr., Pink Velocity, 33 out of 79. That will be for uh, the Knicks. That's going to go to Mark, Mark N. We got Brandon Clark, rated rookie red to 99. And Ignas Bradzikas for the Knicks, Mark N. With New York Knicks. On the board. P.J. Washington Hollow, Rich Schmidt predicting a P.J. Washington. Did you see it, or, or is that just sorcery, Rich? P.J. Washington Hollow. Now, looking at Miles Bridges and the way P.J. Washington has been doing, playing pretty well, too. Who else is a – I think Devontae Graham is a Hornet. 
I feel like the Charlotte Hornets can quietly put together a decent team in the future. There's Tobias Harris to 149. Right, Graham, yeah. There, there he is, Miles Bridges. Hollow, that will ship. Miles Bridges won the Rising Stars MVP. I mean, if they have another good draft, you know, if they could maybe lure a, a free agent there or something like that. The, the East is not too terrifying, right? Outside of outside of the Sixers, Celtics, and Bucks, the rest of the East can be had. It could be interesting. Blackout also likes the uh, Suns as a good up and coming team, good young team moving in the right direction. Yeah, I mean Suns have been racking up those those top picks for a while, so you got to think. You got to think it's got to come together at some point. I mean, DeAndre Ayton has been quietly having a pretty great season after coming back from that, that suspension from earlier. And then combine that with Devin Booker, a couple of the other guys around there, that could be, that could be a team. Yeah, Memphis is looking good. Spry saying Pelicans will be contenders next season. Is that a hot take? It's a warm take. They could they could get into the eighth seed this season. I mean, what are they contending for next season? I guess that would be a hotter take. If you're talking like top half of the Western Conference playoff bracket, then maybe that's a hot take. All right, next box. Luke Kennard to 99. And this guy, Kyle Guy for Kyle Hoover. Sacramento Kings rated rookie autograph. That's just crazy talk, Kelvin. Warriors trading for Giannis? They wish. <laughs> There's Luke Kennard to 99. Why would the Bucks ever? I mean... I guess if the Bucks got Clay Thompson and Steph Curry back, and uh, and Draymond back, yeah, then maybe maybe you that'll get Giannis. Six out of ninety-nine, John Morant. All these add up, Frank. Frank with the Grizz. I'm very nervous about this break, and with good reason. Grizz are a big team, but that covers a good chunk of the spot right there too. Marcus Saul, orange to 199. Romeo Lankford, rated rookie hollow. Boston Celtics, Darren McKenzie. I just can't see any scenario where the Bucks could trade Giannis. I, I think they just have to let him walk. Make him the best offer possible and be like, be like, you know what? This is uh, this is the best. We, we we offered him as much money as possible, and that was it. Just PR wise, he can't move, can't trade Giannis, because because in fans' head, what deal? No deal would be would be good enough. Kevin Love to one forty nine. I don't know if the Warriors have the assets. For that, I mean, if anything, if Giannis even gets traded, which is kind of crazy, but if they even do it, you got to think that you got to think that they want a bunch of draft picks. R.J. Barrett, rated rookie. Next box. Wiggins and a top three T Wolves pick. Downtown in the corner, five passes, working a 
Does that sound like enough for Giannis? MVP? Former MVP? Probably MVP again this year? Yeah, you got to ask for like Wiggins plus Clay Thompson, which the Warriors I don't think would do. But you got you're talking Wiggins plus Clay plus the pick and future picks to 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 get Giannis in a trade anyway. Unless Giannis says I want to leave and makes the whole situation, you know. I don't think you can actively trade Giannis. I think the Bucks can't actively do it. I think a lot has to happen. R right. I think that's one of the things, Eastwood. Yeah, Bucks would only trade him if he came to them publicly and said he's leaving. Yeah, he's got to burn bridges. Because I think if you're the Bucks organization, what you're going to do is you're just going to say, here's as much money as we can possibly give you. Super Max or whatever, whatever, Super Super Ultra Max, you know, Super Mega Max. Here it is, and you could take it or leave it, you know, and if he leaves it, your Bucks as an organization says, yeah, all right, we tried. We tried, and he didn't want to stay. We'll move on. We'll, we'll rebuild post Giannis. But they've got a good team. Sorry, there's Alan Crabb to 79. Pink Velocity for the Hawks. That'll be for EA. I like that Matisse Teibel rated rookies too. He's been pretty good. There's Eric Gordon to 99. John Morant Hollow. Look at that. There you go, Frank. With the Grizz. I mean, you got maybe, what, between that and the other ones? I mean, a little more than half of your your break paid for. There's Lucas Samanich, who has a missing name right here to 199. And we got old Robert Parrish retro series autograph. Celtics. It's going to go to Darren McKenzie. And that is 21 out of 99 for the Seas. Another RJ Barrett, Kevin Durant. Yeah, you're a Warriors fan, Kelvin, I'm assuming? He's saying we, so yeah. Well, no, I think the Warriors have put themselves in pretty pretty excellent position. There's Dan Smith Jr. to 149. I mean, they're going to get a healthy Clay Thompson back. They're going to get a healthy, nice all-clear for takeoff Zion. Pelicans, that'll go to uh, Robert, Robert G. Not numbered, but... All these, anything Zion on it sells well. Yeah, but again, healthy Steph, Steph Curry, healthy Clay Thompson, you know. Still got DeAndre Jordan there, some other, couple other young pieces that are interesting, and then add two. Like high first round picks, which is what it's going to be. I mean, that's kind of incredible. Remember, the Warriors. Warriors won before Kevin Durant. They could, they could do it again. <laughs> you know, they could definitely do it again. And you're getting a couple high picks. So, Matt Silverstein, what's up? 
Um, well, if there's a fresh case that was posted, no, those will not happen tonight. But we did do break three and four. Those videos should already be up on the website or on, on our list of videos. Did I not upload break three? I see break four. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna pause the video really quick. I'm gonna find break three and upload that. I don't think I uploaded break three, blaster break three. I see one, two, and then it skips to four. All right, stand by. All right, welcome back folks. So I think I got blaster break three uploading. Oh, was it before my dinner break? Me, Yeah, maybe I definitely had food on the brain. I just like left without uploading the video. I'm surprised no one mentioned it after after I uh, came back. Yeah, the, it's the high life blackout. I, I, the condor eggs. You know, we work hard for those condor eggs. The cal delicious California condor eggs. Next box. Oh, Rex, this break should probably bring us close to the end of the night. I think the, I think our really our best option would probably be that flawless. Here's Damian Lillard to 149. Dylan Windler, weighted rookie hollow. That'll go to the Cavs, Scott Mulholland. Or if Nick has posted another one box NT break, which I don't think he has, but if he does, you know, if that fills, I can definitely do that. I can squeeze that in. Ooh, nice. The rookies, Hachimura, hollow. Porterhouse steak with the Wizards. There's Kawhi Leonard to 99. We saved one of those R.J. Barrett's. There's Ignis Bredzikis to 99. And Ty Jerome, rated rookie autograph for the Phoenix Suns. Love that these are on card, David Baker. David Baker has the Suns. Yeah, that's right, Han. Someone needs to grab the Yankees in that flawless. My hope is that... If all the other teams go and it's just the Yankees that are left, I'm certain that the high roller will step up and uh, and snag those Yankees and say, screw it, I'll take it, let's break. There's Zion, Pelicans, Robert. Seiko Demboya goes to the Pistons, Ken Goldberg. Because my thinking is there are high rollers here who are saying, yeah, I got the money to buy the Yankees, but... I don't want to buy the Yankees and then end up waiting until tomorrow for it to break because there are some other teams left. So my rationale is why not grab those other teams, everybody else, and then say, all right, high rollers, ball's in your court. You know, put the pressure on them. All right, put the pressure on them. Put the pressure on the high rollers. That's right, Kelvin. Steven Adams to 199. Rex, can't get the Yankees, Rex. You can grab one of some of the other teams, though. No? We've got, we've got three teams left. 
Orioles, $59.99. Twins, $49.99. And then the Yankees, straight up. If we do a number block, Dave, it'll probably be tomorrow. I think it's too late for a number block. It means I have to stay here later, Dave. Got to wait for the number block to fill. Uh, I mean, we've sold the last, like, 10, 15 cases straight up. So... I think we can do that. Otherwise, we can do it tomorrow. How many number block spots would you get, Dave? Be like what, 40 bucks a spot? Same with you, Hans. Is it And Rex, how many spots would you get? Hachimura, hollow. Darren Porter, nice. Hmm. Dave says two to four. Let's meet in the middle. Let's say you get three. Let's say Hans gets three. Blackout gets one. Rex would get one. Hmm. Decons one, SKS one. <laughs> I love that, Steven. SKS is like one, but what are we buying? Number block spot in flawless, flawless Yankees. To one forty nine, Bogdanovich. <laughs> I like how SKS just drops in and goes one. All right, well, I don't even know if Nick is available to do that, so I've just I just texted him to see if he can do it. Because I don't control that stuff, but since there seems to be significant interest, I've bothered him. This late at night. Pink Velocity, Jared Allen for the Bucks. That'll be for Philip. Nikhil Alexander-Walker to 199 for the Pels. And your autograph, Latrell Sprewell for Mark and the Knicks. That is 85 out of 99. Jared Culver, hollow. That's for the Timberwolves, Coppola with that. Tell him it's now or never. Nah. Then we'll just do it tomorrow, Rex. I don't need to put pressure on him. We don't cave to those kind of demands, Rex. That might that might make us even go the other way. I'll just be like, we'll just do it tomorrow then. So we'll be there tomorrow. Sure did, SKS. I think Spreewell did indeed uh, coach, choke coach uh, Jeff Van Gundy, I believe. Not the TV Van Gundy. 
the other Van Gundy. Was it Van Gundy? Choked a coach. During practice or something like that. I was not pleased with something, I guess, enough to... Oh, was it PJ Carlissimo? Maybe it was PJ Carlissimo. I thought it was Van Gundy, too. Anyway. There was no... People weren't happy with it. Oh, there you go. Go get it. That doesn't sell on the next five minutes. I'll be pretty disappointed. Go get the Yankees number block, folks. If I don't see orders from all the people that requested it, it's the last time we're doing that. <laughs> um, Calvin, yeah, as Andy was saying, it's kind of hard to say what exactly... I mean, we can guesstimate what some of the biggest cards we pulled were, but we've been doing this for the last five years or so. So over the years... We've, uh, over the last five years, we've done, we've pulled a lot of nice stuff. 50 autograph books, Connor McDavid rookie patch autos that go for maybe $100,000. All sorts of crazy stuff. Maybe Michael Jordan, LeBron James, dual NBA logo man. Plenty of Zions that'll go for tens of thousands of dollars. John ja Morant's left and right. And where do we start? And there's Isaiah Roby. Rated rookie autograph for the Mavs. Evan with the Mavericks. Oh, nice. There you go. Three number block spots. So there you go, folks. Thank you. That's that's good teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate that. Some good teamwork. There you go. Dave Larson got his three. Terrence Mann, rated rookie hollow. Casey Okpala to 99. Did sold for $900,000? Crazy. Dwight Powell to 59. Zion. Chris Middleton to 199. All right, we are halfway through this uh, full case break. Nice, so that Yankees number block is sold out. And someone just, just needs to get the Twins. So we're finishing this break up. This should be another 30 minutes. This should bring us to the bottom of the hour. Then we'll run the random number block for the Yankees. Then we'll do the break itself. And then uh, and then we'll, probably, we'll call it a night after that. Anything else that fills after flawless will uh, we'll, uh, break tomorrow. Uh, it is going to have to wait a little bit tonight. All right, so twins are still left at forty nine ninety nine. Dave Larson said, "You're a diehard Twins fan. You can't pull the trigger because you have all the cards for them that you want." 
Why not more? Dave? Can't have enough Paul Molitors and Joe Mowers and Harmon Killebrew die cuts and Reg did Reggie Jackson play for the Twins? No, Rod Carew. Right, he played for the Twins, right? Rod Carew's. Is there? A, I mean, I don't I actually don't know the checklist offhand. Is there a is there a Kirby Puckett bat knob in there? There is. Has it, it hasn't been pulled? I mean, this has been out for a while. Has it not been pulled yet? Yeah, Blylevin's in the set as a twin. Old Bert. Birdie. Got Marvin Bagley, Pink Velocity to 79. Dennis Smith Jr., Lime Green to 149. Romeo Langford to 199, Celtics. Cameron Johnson, Rated Rookie, Hollow. David Baker and the Suns. How many... Uh, do you, are you full on Max Kepler's, Dave Larson? <laughs> There's almost a guaranteed Max Kepler in there, right? Ty Jerome to 59. Jordan Bad to the bone. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ken Goldberg. And there's Ty Jerome to 59. All right, next box. Yeah, Kirby Puckett, gone too soon, right? I think he was pretty young. Was it... I'm not sure what it was. Was it a heart thing or a cancer thing? Oh, he big, just massive stroke. The surgery didn't work out. 2006. It's crazy. Uh, Andy, hope the boss man socked up on this optic. Well, we couldn't. <laughs> we tried, but. A, I don't think they printed a lot of this, especially hobby editions. They didn't make a lot of these hobby editions, and uh, and B, it was it was heavily allocated. Well, that, that's what you get for threatening us, Rex. <laughs> you scared everyone into uh, into getting that ASAP. Kelvin says, I should get a machine that just opens the pack and spits out the rare ones. Imagine how cool that would be. That sounds like a nightmare, Kelvin. Guess who's out of a job then? So you want me to lose my job? That's what you're telling me. 
<laughs> oh, I lagged your phone. It's my fault. All right, I'll take that blame, Rex. Dirk Nowitzki to 99. Bradley Beal to 99. Alan Crabb to 149. And Daniel Gafford, rated rookie autograph for the Chi Town Bulls. EA with the Bulls. Yeah, thanks, Andy. Yeah, it's like look what happened. The automation. There's good and bad in automation, but bad for for my industry, for what I do. Oh, okay, now you're thinking. If I if I'm the one that invents that machine. All right, I like that idea. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be, I don't know if it'd be worth it though. I don't think uh, I don't think most collectors would take too kindly. Here's Ben Simmons to 59 through a stack of stack of cards that uh, <laughs> that will go through a machine and trust that machine to not f up their cards. Now, something like this, something like this uh, requires a uh, requires a human touch, Kelvin. Do you want to you want a back massage from a machine or from a human being? I'll guarantee you the human being will do a much better job there. Same deal. Same deal with this. Oh, nice, Spry. Who are you? Oh, you're Dylan. All right. We'll look for some bowl bowls. That's right, Rich. Massage is better. All right. Yeah. Scott's saying massage chairs sell pretty well, though. Right, right, right. But try a massage chair, then go down to the local, the local massage therapist, and you, you tell me which one you'd go with on a regular basis. All right, easy, Rich. Relax. I'm just getting a little excited there. <laughs> I feel like all these modes on these iPhones trick people into thinking they're good photographers. No, I don't want to see pictures of the food. All right, good luck, everybody. Kendrick Nunn. Poor Kendrick Nunn doesn't get his name on this set. Marvin Bagley the third to ninety nine, and a redemption. It's Dominator signatures. Kevin Durant. That's got to be. I'm looking at the checklist, but that's got to be Nets. Kevin Durant, right? Yeah, it's Brooklyn Nets. Card number one is Brooklyn Nets. So that will be for Philip and the Nets.
With Capital One, you can open a new savings account in about five minutes. There's Anthony Davis. Save one of those Anthony Davises for John McCall and the Lakers. Plus, there are no fees or minimums on savings or checking accounts because that's how it should be. This is Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? What? You paid. You're okay. What? You got the old three. Harrison Barnes with 149. John Morant, the rookies. Frank might have three quarters of his spot, spot paid for there. Jackson Hayes, Hollow, Pelicans. We need to get some more for the Pelicans for Robert G. Pink Velocity, Nicola Batum to 79. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Flawless coming up after this. And that will be the last break of the night. And then we're back tomorrow. 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. We'll be watching all of the NBA Saturday night stuff together. And breaking a bunch more of this stuff. Looking at Zion already. That certainly helps. Robert G. John Moran, another one. That'll help. That'll help uh, Frank. EJC. What's going on, Eric? Things are going well. I know. Can't believe how expensive this is. I agree. But, but equally, I can't believe how quickly these have been selling relative to the price, you know? So people still want it. Doesn't help that Zion keeps scoring 30 points a game, or at least the last two games, and Looking pretty good in the All-Star game, too. and Almost breaking a basket in the Rising Stars game. Well... I think it's it's been a bit of a challenge. Yeah, a lot of LCSs, Dave's saying, selling out really fast, too. Yeah, Rich has got some Zion prisms. He's like, keep scoring, Zion. Keep those prices going up. But we're going to try to re-up on it. I, I think we have were able to secure another couple cases here and there. It's just been difficult. It's just not as easy as usually... Whenever we want to re-up, you know, we just pick up the phone and be like, hey, we want more, a couple more of these. You have them at this price. And they're like, yes, we do. Or they, they say, no, we, we have them, but not at that price. And then we'll either say yay or nay, right? But this has been a lot more of a challenge. 33 out of 39, Mitchell Robinson, Black Velocity. So it's been much more of a challenge with this stuff. We have to source a lot of different sources, try to haggle get some good pricing i mean it's probably going to go up in price but we're doing we're doing our best to we're doing our best to kind of get everything to try to i don't know to try to have it but also have it at a price where we can actually move it to it's a tricky dance you know the why is it the there's a Law, I don't know what the economic term is where at some point people stop buying it at a price. There's a law, there's diminishing returns at a certain price point. 
Well, I guess we'll find out what that prize is going to be. Another John Morant for Frank. I want to get one of those graded, Frank. It's Chris Paul to 99. And there's DeAndre Hunter. Goes to EA and the Hawks. Rookie Dominator Signatures. And that is 29 out of 99. 26 out of 99. One of your LCS wouldn't buy out of principle. I mean, that's admirable. <laughs> There's Kyrie to 99. I mean, for us, we're going to keep trying to find the best prices, but... At some point, yeah. At some point, we're gonna have to stop stop buying too. I mean, I mean it'll, there'll be a point where you guys will just be like, "No, Joe, I'm not." Okay, I mean, it's just gone too far. We're not paying that price. But I don't know. I'll bet you most LCSs, if they're able to get it, they would get it and sell it. But it is that what I do know that I've heard from a lot of people. Uh, is that it is a heavily allocated product, yeah, so who knows if if whoever their distributor is was able to secure enough for that particular LCS. But yeah, that's gotten a lot of people. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, I feel bad for the distributors too. That allocation game, that allocation game is is a little wild. I don't know. I don't know what the formula is. I'm not quite sure how they do it, but I feel like people will get really salty with that allocation game. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Oh yeah. I mean, Andy, we've been, we've been, Nick Jaspi has been looking around town at all of our Walmarts and Targets and whatnot to try to look for retail stuff. Like we, we couldn't find any. We were trying to pick some up too. All right, Dave's, yeah, Dave, the same thing happened to you. Went to eight targets in Walmarts in the last two days, nada. Yeah, it's wild. Nick spent a good chunk of his day yesterday just driving around town looking for stuff. I don't know. But. With all the crazy pricing here and this sort of stuff, one feedback that I we have gotten <laughs> that I'm happy with is that they're like, well, Joe, we know this stuff is expensive, but, and we know that, you know, but we know that you guys still have the lower prices of these extravagant prices. I mean, we're, we're just trying to keep up with the market, but we're also not trying to, we don't want to set the market. <laughs> There's Nicola Batum to 79. Is that an R.J. Barrett coming up? Ooh, it is. Rookie Dominator signatures gold. Mark N. Now O. Seven out of ten, R.J. Barrett. Nice. He looked pretty good in the Rising Stars game. Another John Morant. Another Kendrick Nunn for the Miami Heat, Darren Porter. Well, we've been doing that, Rich. But we just still didn't get as much much as we we wanted. I don't know. It's cra crazy times, folks. Edward, you were able to hit three full displays today but he wishes that he had kept the money instead Mike Connolly 75 
Well, listen. There's going to be some lean years too, so you know. I can I can imagine some a few years later they're like people going, "Well, I guess this stuff is a lot cheaper now, but I no longer have the opportunity to hit a $10,000 card." <laughs> I wish Zion was. I wish there was another Zion. It's a double-edged sword, right? We can have a weak draft class, poor secondary market value, but all the product is cheaper. <laughs> Guess we can do that. Just we we just ride we'll ride the waves, ladies and gentlemen. We'll ride the waves. You know, we'll ride out the ups and downs. Blackout is saying 98 through 2002, those drafts were bad, and that's when you stopped collecting, and then you're just too late to the LeBron party in 03. All right, last box. We made it. Fall is coming up next. Actually, made pretty good time on this. Damari Carroll, orange to 199. All right, let's get a big finish. D. Wade, All Star Hollow, DeAndre Jordan, Red to 99. All clear for takeoff to 99. Clay Thompson, Hollow, Nasir Little, Rated Rookie. Save Cam Reddish, too. I feel like we should save some of him. Bruno Fernando, Rated Rookie, Hollow. EJC, you don't think the sports card game is going anywhere? I hope so. I hope it doesn't go anywhere. No, I mean, if you think about it, over the last five years that we've been doing this, you know, even four or five years ago, the the market share, I mean, the people that are, were aware of group breaks was small, and even today is still small. So imagine there's a whole rest of the population Outside of you guys who who have done this for a minute or two with us, the Shumo Kiki, Orlando Magic, Robert with the Magic, and so like you know, with a lot of people being reintroduced to the hobby, you should see how many people come into our shop in Hermosa Beach. You know, and they're just like, oh my god, it's so different. You know, from when I was, and they're bringing their kids in. Because their kids see kids like us on YouTube doing this sort of stuff, and they're like, we got to go to the car shop in Hermosa Beach. And people come by, and they're just like, wow, we had no idea. We had no idea this was a thing, that it was still a thing, how expensive everything is, how much are the singles that we have in the, in the windows, how much, you know, the value of those, how well those are doing on secondary market. And since online is the key, the key component of our business, a lot of the stuff that we have out there isn't really is really on uh, really good deals there. There's Tristan Thompson to 39. So, but I mean, just just seeing all that nice DeAndre Hunter hollow, just seeing all that, I think really, I know it's easy to get cynical about the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. But I mean, when you see some of the kids come in here and their faces light up when they're pulling certain cards and. Moms and dads and their kids are are visiting the shop and kind of sharing something together. That cynicism kind of goes away a little bit, you know. So, yeah, is it more expensive? Yes, 
Milk's more expensive too. Gas is more expensive too. Here's a quick little recap right here. Thanks everybody. Uh, RJ Barrett to 10 was nice. Wish there were some more Pelicans here. But a lot of Grizzlies though. Nice Kevin Durant redemption. Sign your cards, Kevin. It's not like you're doing anything. Mr. Durant. <laughs> Kevin, I'm not like I'm friends with him. Uh, actually, there were some Zions in there. All those add up. All those add up. Nice. So there you go. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for watching and for breaking with us. Really appreciate it. That was a full case hobby version of the latest release, 2019-2020 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. We've got blaster editions in the store, too. Those, are a little, those don't have an autograph per box, but it's a little bit cheaper to try to chase some of these big parallels that are in here. Um, we'll try to dig up some more hobby. I think we have a hobby case, half case randoms on the website, if I'm not mistaken. We reloaded the website today. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.